So I'm sure I can't get it all. You know what I mean? I can give you just a couple of verses for right now, but just something he was showing me. He had me looking up the word might. Okay, and it means expressing possibility. I know what it means, but I wanted the exact definition. It's it's wise to know the words that you're saying and reading sometimes, right? So might is expressing a possibility based on an unfulfilled condition. So for, I'm writing down all these different scriptures, you know what I mean, just so I know where they're at. And it's more important that you have the word in you so that it can come out of you, you know what I mean, for yourself, you know, through prayer and through for other people as well, to teach other people, because we're supposed to always be ready to, to teach. Um, because this is only thing, the only thing that's going to give anybody hope and to cleanse anybody. You know, it's it's good for correction. It's good for encouragement. It's good for all things pertaining to this life, this Word of God. And so Psalms 119, verse 11, I was just noticing the word might. Because I hear the scripture all the time, but I wanted to know where it is. Psalms 119, verse 11 says, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. So right there, we see the choice of humanity. Everybody has a choice. Right? Just like the word says that the demon, it's good that you believe, the demons believe too. And they shudder, they're terrified, they shake and quake at the name of Jesus. Even the thought of Jesus. Right? But there's a following, there's a pressing into him. That's why he says things uh, like in Isaiah 55, verse 6. That's another one he just had me write down. Seek me while I may be found. Call ye upon me while I am near, which is now, right now, today. He says, choose this day whom you will serve. Today is the day of salvation. There's always hope. There's hope right now. Even if you just sinned, God is quick to forgive. He goes on in Isaiah 55. Then in verse 7, he says, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon so it says might here. We still have a choice to go into sin, whether we have the word of God or not. And all of us have gone back at some point to sin. If we say we haven't, then we've deceived ourselves, right? We've all done it. We've all fallen short. We've all known the truth and chose to go the opposite way. That's why Jesus Christ came. But he wants us to put forth our best effort, knowing that we're going to have moments of weakness. See, Paul the Apostle finally got it. He understood how this thing worked. How to get the power of God to rest on him and to abstain from sin. It was to stay humble and to admit that he was weak daily. He said, I boast in my weaknesses that the power of Christ may rest on him. Even John 3, 17 says might. So 16 and 17 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Should not. Nobody should be perishing. Jesus Christ took care of that, but everybody decides whether they want to believe in Jesus or not, and to follow him or not, to give him their life and their heart. Then the 17th verse says, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn it, to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Why is might in there again? Because everybody has a choice. The word might, as he had me look it up, is it just expressing possibility based on an unfulfilled 
condition. Everyone has a choice. Right? Same with sin. I've hit the word in my heart that I might not sin against him. Why? Because the spirit's always warring against the flesh. And we've all given in to the flesh after accepting Jesus Christ at some point. So it's good to have that word in us, but he's, we still mess up. That's why might is in there. That's why Jesus came. Because we still all have a choice. Right? He didn't come into the world to, to condemn it, but to love it through his son. That the world might be saved. There's might again. We still just always have that choice. So that's just something that he was pointing out to me tonight. And um, I hope you guys stay blessed and encouraged. In Jesus' name, stay close to him. Read, pray, worship, repeat.